Hi, friends. Happy Sunday. Well, like I said, I really believe we have an early spring. I'm going to keep my record on that. I'm going to continue to say that. So I hope you're enjoying the sunshine that we've had. So much sunshine and the nice weather and uh, getting outside. Well, today I want to uh, share a passage I read this morning. It's a Sunday, uh, March 14th and 2021 and this is out of Galatians chapter 5 let me read the passage for you and then we'll make some comments okay the passage is beginning in chapter 5 of Galatians verse 19 the acts of the flesh are obvious sexual immorality impurity and debauchery idolatry and witchcraft hatred discord jealousy fits of rage self-ambition dissensions factions and envy drunkenness orgies and the like I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. So there's talking about the, the acts of the flesh, what our flesh wants to do. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And against, against such things, there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking and envying each other. And so we have the, the acts or the works of the flesh compared to the fruit of the Spirit. And obviously the Apostle Paul wants us to display the fruits of the Spirit. In fact, in the margin of my Bible, I have written down that the Holy Spirit wants to develop the characters of Christ in us in three directions, all right? So think about this, all right? The Holy Spirit wants to develop the character of Christ in us in three directions. There's love, joy, peace, inward. He wants to develop that inward in us. Long-suffering or forbearance, uh, gentleness or kindness, uh, and goodness. Those are outward, how we relate to others and then faith and gentleness and self-control upward so the holy spirit wants to develop uh, the characters of christ in us inwardly outwardly and upwardly and how does he want us to do that he wants us he wants us to remember that because of the victory on the cross that those works of the flesh have been crucified and we have victory. You might sometimes not feel victorious, but you can be. And how can you experience that victory that has been won? You know, we talk about this. Theologians talk about positional and practical truth. Positionally in Christ, I am victorious. The, the game is over. We've won. All right. But practically, we are living out on earth. And Paul is saying that while we're living here practically, remember, we have that positional truth. We have the victory, and we can experience it here how, and he says how, by, since we live by the Spirit, okay, so let's live our life by the sphere of the Spirit's uh, influence and leading in our life. Let us keep in step with the Spirit, all right? Keep in step. And that word means to walk in line, okay? in strict accordance to a particular pace. So Paul is saying, let the Holy Spirit lead you and keep in pace with the Holy Spirit, keep in step with the Holy Spirit. And as you do, then Christ will be developed, his characteristics will be developed in our life, inwardly, outwardly, upwardly. And what I do is I pray every day I thank the Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, and I always ask the Holy Spirit to fill me and to guide me. Because like many others, I do not want to go where the Holy Spirit's not leading me. I want to go where God's going to, where, where he wants me to be. I want to do the things he wants me to do. And sometimes we have our own plans and our own desires. But if we truly want Christ, the character of Christ, developed in us inwardly and outwardly and upwardly, we must listen to the Holy Spirit and keep in step. And just a practical illustration is if you feel, I call it a nudge from the Holy Spirit 
or a prompting of the Holy Spirit. Some people might say the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Okay, whatever term you use, that's the Holy Spirit guiding you. And when you have this idea that comes across that the that the Holy and the Holy Spirit's nudging you, and it's something that's good to do, it's righteous to do, it's right. You know it's pleasing to God. Sometimes you just don't even need to pray about it. You just need to follow the Holy Spirit, keep in step with Him, and and do it. All right. Because you can always talk yourself out of things. Don't do that. Keep in step with the Holy Spirit. And as you do, as you learn to develop that discipline of keeping in step with the Holy Spirit, Christ, the characters of Christ will be developed in us inwardly, outwardly, and upwardly. Okay? Have a terrific day. Have a great week. Enjoy the weather. And we'll catch you next week.